What is going on world? What's up everyone? It's Zero here. Today I'm bringing you guys a brand new StarCraft 2 video. This one is between two players on the WCS Pro Circuit. Spawning here in the top left hand corner of Dreamcatcher LE, playing with the blue Zerg pieces. He currently evened up the score and wants to keep this series going in his favor. His name is Lambo. And his opponent spawning in the cross position, playing with the red Protoss pieces. He's very well known in the StarCraft Pro scene. And he wants to keep this series going in his favor. His name is Showtime. So guys and girls, you guys can check out game uh, the first couple of games in this series on the YouTube channel right now. And I gotta say guys, Showtime really showed us who was boss in game number one. But then in game number two, Lambo just put on consistent aggression onto his opponent and I think that was the catalyst uh, for game number two and uh, I'll be interested to see what both these players decide to do here in game number three uh, you know both these guys really have decided to not really cheese their opponent at least at this point they really have not tried uh, cheesing whatsoever it's been standard macro focused games out of both players and I wonder if we're going to continue that trend here uh, in game number three of this series, that is the quarterfinals uh, at the WCS in Montreal that happened. And I look, guys, I got to say, um, both these guys are pretty even when it comes to their skill levels. Uh, they're, they, both players really have uh, interesting and unique builds that they go for. But they also uh, play, you know, very, very well uh, when it comes to uh, to their specific races. So, Lambo, now that he tied up the series, the question is: is would you get aggressive here, or would you just stay, you know, uh, would you keep it as a uh, a standard macro focused uh, macro focused game? Since uh, game number one definitely seem, seemed to not work, and then game number two worked out for you. What do you do in uh, in this current uh, situation? So, uh, should be interesting to say the least. It looks like a Zergling speed upgrade has uh, been uh, chosen uh, early on here, as well as the warp gate, uh, warp gate research coming out of our Protoss player. So, two the most standard uh, upgrades by both uh, the Zerg and the Protoss have been taken here. Stargate is going to be that tech of choice here for uh, Showtime. He's very good with the Stargate. Uh, decided to not, uh, instead of going for uh, two Stargates like he did in game one, he only got one last game. So I'm wondering if he's going to change that up. This uh, Zergling is going to see exactly what is going on. Going to see the Stargate. Going to see essentially exactly what uh, the opponent uh, is doing. And Lambo has gone ahead and has decided to get his very quick third base up and running. So, yeah, it looks like uh, both players giving each other a little bit of some respect here. Uh, the, you know, Lambo's going ahead and get, trying to get that uh, very quick, um, you know, uh, he wants to kind of get his economy really going here with that third base. And uh, it looks like uh, the Phoenix has come out of that Stargate. It looks like an Oracle is going to be coming out uh, here shortly after. But yeah, I mean, pretty pretty standard, guys. Pretty standard on both sides of the map. Uh, looks like there's probably going to be spore crawlers coming into each of these bases here for Lambo now that he knows that uh, the Stargate is out. There is a second Stargate. So, okay, I like this decision a lot here by our uh, Protoss player. Going ahead and getting the, uh, the second Stargate so you can start... Uh, really pumping out the production whether it's oracles or phoenixes showtime has showed us in the past that he's incredible when it comes to mass phoenixes so uh, he can really take out an entire uh, entire mineral line with relative ease um, with a bunch of phoenixes so we'll have to see if that's what he decides to do here in uh, in game number three here So Zerglings are kind of waiting to see if the, that th when that third base may very well go down here. And uh, more and more Phoenixes on that production tab. So it does look like our Protoss player 
really does want to continue uh, with the, the Phoenix production, and I, I really love that decision uh, by him. Phoenix is going to start trying to chip away at uh, that Overlord. Will not get the kill. Third base has gone down now for Showtime. And the creep spread, I got I to gotta give some props to Lambo in these games so far. The creep spread has been absolutely on point. He has not missed a beat when it comes to uh, the creep spread. So it does look like the uh, lair is going to be started. We're going to get some roaches out. Plus one has been started out of the evolution chamber on the opposite side. We have more and more phoenixes coming out of showtime here. And uh, he's just making more and more probes. Going into the double robotics facilities. Uh, that's a very interesting decision as well. Uh, so now that showtime has kind of showed what he is doing, uh, he is going to try to get some, uh, some quick kills here uh, on some of these uh, drones gonna try to get pick up a queen and get a kill on on one of those queens does do exactly that and uh, like I said guys Showtime is absolutely incredible when it comes to uh, using these Phoenixes more and more of these four cars are gonna be coming up here you just got to be really careful that you don't lose all of these uh, Phoenixes here but this is so annoying to deal with if you are a Zerg player. You hate dealing with mass amounts of Phoenixes because they can take out your mineral line so quickly. Gonna try to do exactly that once again. Spore crawlers are pretty much all over the place though. So uh, Showtime's gotta deal with this with extreme caution. You do not wanna lose these uh, Phoenixes. It does look like the fourth base is gonna be going down here for uh, for Lambo here relatively soon. Uh, looks like three spore crawlers in uh, pretty much every single uh, base so far. So the defense uh, Lambo is taking very seriously right now. Going to try to get some kills on a few of these uh, uh, drones here. Getting more and more drone kills. But you don't want to lose too many of these phoenixes. The Phoenixes are going to get uh, an Overlord there for their troubles as well. Looks like the upgrades are starting and the transition has begun here for our uh, Protoss player. He's moving into the Heavy Immortal production. Got a couple of sentries as well as some uh, uh, Adepts and Zealots. Just trying to get more and more angles here. Trying to chip, you know, pick off some more and more of these Overlords. This is just so annoying to deal with if you are a Zerg player. Uh, and so I would, if you're a Protoss player, I would take a page out of Showtime's book when it comes to the aggression with Phoenixes. His Phoenix play is absolutely brilliant. And to back this all up, he's got a small ground-based army that is preparing uh, for, you know, what is, is essentially going to be coming. Roly-poly upgrades is going to be coming up here as well as plus two. Um, so we're, you know, the Hydra upgrades are coming up. So a lot of upgrades are coming up here for our Zerg player right now. Uh, the Hydras are out, so they're a great counter to the uh, Phoenixes. And I think that this may very well force uh, Showtime back home. Um, he's starting to get that ground-based unit composition up and running. Charge is being researched um, as well as plus one. Now, swarm hosts are being switched up on uh, once again here. So there's going to be swarm hosts coming out of uh, Lambo here. So uh, that decision is very interesting. Now, you got to be very careful. You do not want to lose these phoenixes if you are showtime to a bunch of hydras. Does look like he's once again going to keep on trying to chip away at all of these uh, at all of these drones. And at this point, Showtime is almost even with Lambo when it comes to the worker counts, and that is usually not a good sign. Uh, you do not want that. Looks like they're going to try to get the pickup on one of these uh, locusts. Uh, more and more of these swarm hosts are getting picked up here, and they are so heavy on supply. Oh my god, very nicely done, and the mass recall has been uh, chosen here. 
he does not want to lose those phoenixes and you know there's a pretty decent army that is coming now uh, lambo is almost maxed out at this point and he is uh, starting to move across the map here uh, and there are just i mean the creep spread is out of control right now it's almost all the way into um uh, all, almost all the way into uh this uh uh you know showtime's neck of the woods here and the queens are starting to come down now as well. The locusts are coming in here as well. And it looks like they are going to try to get some kills on a bunch of uh, these units here. Looks like they are going to get a couple of immortals as well as maybe a couple of these sentries. But those shield batteries are helping out uh, substantially right now uh, for this army. But yeah, Lambo, who is basically maxed out right now, or very close to it, uh, has got to be really careful. And those Banelings are coming in. You do not want those High Templars to be taken out by those Banelings. There is another gold base that's being taken by Lambo here. And uh, it it's looking like, guys, you know, both players giving each other so much respect at this point. Um, I'm wondering if this is going to force a counterattack here by Showtime. It does look like uh, some of these units are going to get caught with their pants down. There is a, uh, a roach run by here. Some of these locusts are going to jump in here. And it looks like they are going to attack this base here, which is the fourth base or the third base location here. They are going to get the kill on that base. Absolutely brilliant play here. And there is just so much going on all across the map here. There is a couple of zealots here that are going to try to uh, get the cancel on this uh, top right-hand base, which is the goal base for our... Uh, a Zerg player and the storms come down beautiful play there uh, by Showtime and now with the mothership out oh this is going to get very interesting very quickly these queens are basically being sacrificed here and uh, you know how do you deal with this if you are Lambo at this point how are you going to deal with uh, this uh, play from Showtime and now you got the uh, all of these um, phoenixes that are going to try to get a bunch of kills on some of these other units. But man, this is just not what you want if you are a Zerg player that is uh, trying to, to get as many kills as possible. There's already a carrier out. More and more are going to be coming up here. And I think Lambo's got to decide what he wants to do here because uh, this is a very awkward... Um, unit composition that he has going up against now what is starting to be more becoming more and more of a powerful uh you know death ball of air units and uh now it looks like showtime is getting more uh you know getting another base here he's starting to take the fight to his opponent getting the pickup on so many of these locusts i mean showtime is just absolutely playing this brilliantly now you got to be careful you do not want to overextend and there looks like there is going to try to be a surround here by our zerg player who is starting to surround his opponent here beautiful play there but i wonder if there's just gonna be just enough here for showtime but oh wow his army is absolutely decimated right now um and that was a very expensive army so now Lambo has the option to start putting on consistent aggression now on his opponent with these locusts. And now he's got more and more Zerglings and Hydras coming out as well as Banelings. I wonder if uh, Lambo has decided to go ahead and really start pushing in once again with a bunch of these units. That looks like that is exactly what the case is going to be here. These locusts are starting to attack here. A bunch of these ground-based units. A lot of the locusts are getting killed, though. And I wonder, there are so many hydras out. These hydras are going to absolutely destroy these carriers. And it looks like Lambo is now everywhere. He is starting to take out Showtime's army with absolute ease right now. This is not looking good here for Showtime. Beautiful play here by L Lambo. Oh my god. There is just so many units and GG is called. And Lambo takes this game absolutely overwhelming his army. 
uh, overwhelming his opponent and just showing us that he is becoming an absolute force to be reckoned with. I hope you guys did enjoy this game between Lambo and Showtime. And if you guys did, leave a thumbs up, subscribe for new, stay positive, and as always, I will see you guys all in the next one. Peace.